When you think of a heat wave, you might think about the extreme weather we've had over the past few summers in the UK. However, oceans are now experiencing extreme heat waves. It's easy to ignore because it is under the sea and we don't see it with our, with our eyes, but it is just as drastic effects as a heat wave on land. A marine heat wave is classified as a period of time where the water in the ocean is much warmer than usual. Sea temperatures in the North Sea and the North Atlantic are smashing records for late spring and early summer. It's normally around 11 degrees at this time of year in the water and it's currently going to be about 16 or 17 in some parts of the coast of England and the west coast of Ireland. Because these temperatures are not normally seen in June, we're likely to see higher temperatures by the end of summer and those are temperatures at which marine life is likely to die off. This is happening due to a combination of factors. Obviously, uh, global heating is one of these, which exacerbates any other factor that may happen. Another factor is a weather phenomenon called El Nino. It's essentially a band of warm water in the Pacific Ocean. It's caused by different pressure streams and basically can cause the rest of the oceans to heat and also can exacerbate climate effects. We're going to be facing droughts in some parts of the world and extreme rainfall in others. As with any uh, extreme weather that we've been facing over the past few years, it has been impacted by human activities. When we have emitted carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and other pollutants, we have warmed the temperatures of the globe. And we've seen that as of last year, when we had 40 degree weather in the UK on land. The UK Met Office issuing its first ever red warning for extreme heat. And unfortunately, it's now being seen in the ocean. Marine heat waves um, are disrupting an entire massive ecosystem, some of which we haven't even explored yet because it is so vast. The worst effects we can see though with, with our bare eyes are uh, mass die-offs of seabirds, for example, because they use um, the oceans to scavenge for food and these fish might be dying off or going into deeper depths to escape the heat. And this will have impacts on the fishing industry, on humans who rely on the, on the sea for food. And the ocean is a very important ecosystem. The organisms under the sea store carbon. So for example, there are massive kelp forests under the ocean, which are essentially the ocean's version of the Amazon rainforest. However, these are very sensitive to temperature and if it gets too hot in the ocean, these forests might die off. And it'd be very similar to burning down a forest in terms of the effect it can have on carbon. And rather than storing carbon, these sections of the ocean might actually start to emit carbon, causing a drastic feedback loop that can exacerbate global heating. This year is not going to be an anomaly. Obviously, we haven't seen the true effects of all the carbon we've already put into the atmosphere. So if we do not drastically reduce carbon emissions, it is likely to get worse over the coming years. 